Good day and welcome to my video lectures about physics. In this video lecture, I will discuss about the introduction to inclined planes and we will solve one problem. So let's start. This topic is to review some formulas that you need to know when dealing with inclined planes. Let's say we have a box that rests on the inclined plane. The force that extends perpendicular to the surface is called as the normal force. The weight force is always in the negative y direction. And we have also an angle of inclination. The component of weight force along the surface is mg sine theta. And the component of weight force perpendicular to the surface is mg cosine theta. It is important to understand this angle is the same with angle of inclination. Because the block is at rest, it means it is not accelerating in upward or downward direction. So the block is in the state of equilibrium in the y direction. This means that the sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero. It is also equal to summation of forces in y direction is equal to normal force minus mg cosine theta. Since the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, Therefore, Fn is equal to mg cosine theta. Now, it turns out that there is a force that accelerates the block down the incline and we will call it Fg. You will notice that Fg is parallel to mg sine theta. So, it turns out that Fg is equal to the component of the weight force mg sine theta that accelerates the block down the inclined surface. So the second equation to be used is fg is equal to mg sine theta. Now let's say the block in the figure rests on a frictionless incline and you want to find the acceleration. How can we derive a formula in that kind of situation? We know that the force that makes the block accelerate is Fg and from Newton's second law, it states that the summation of forces in the x direction is equal to mass times the acceleration. And since the only forces in the x direction is Fg, so summation of forces in the x direction is equal to Fg or, or it is also equal to ma. Now fg is equal to mg sine theta. Therefore, ma is equal to mg sine theta. m is cancelled. Therefore, the acceleration of the block in the x direction is ax is equal to g sine theta. This time, the friction is present. Let's say the block is sliding, sliding down and it is moving in the positive x direction. We know that Fg is downward. The friction always opposes the motion. So if the block, the block is sliding down, kinetic friction opposes it. So if you want to find the acceleration, we need to start with this expression. The summation of forces in the x direction is summation of forces in x is equal to max. The force that accelerate the block is fg is equal to mg sine theta. The friction force is fx, fk is equal to mu times the normal force. Substituting the known variables, we get max is equal to mg sine theta minus mu k times fn. 
the normal force is Fn is equal to mg cosine theta. Substituting the normal force, we get Max is equal to mg sine theta minus mu k mg cosine theta. M is cancelled. The acceleration of the block in the x direction is Ax is equal to g sine theta minus mu k g cosine theta. Now let's solve a problem. The 50 kilograms block rests on the top of the frictionless ramp with the height of 1.2 meters. The angle of inclination is 40 degrees. Find the time of the block to get down the ramp and the speed of the block before reaching the ground. We already know in previous slides that normal force is equal to mg cosine theta. The force that made the block accelerate was named as fg. And this is equal to fg is equal to mg sine theta. Let us assume a a coordinal plane just like this. The summation of forces acting on the x direction is only Fg and according to Newton's second law, the net force is equal to mass times the acceleration. So summation of Fx is equal to Fg which is also equal to Max. Now, how about the forces acting on the y direction? We can say that the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero. Because if it is, is not equal to zero, the block will fly out upward or it may break the ramp downward. And what are the forces acting in the y direction? We can see that normal force Fn and weight force Mg are those forces in the y direction. Fn is in acting on the positive y direction while W or Mg is acting on the negative y direction. So the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to Fn minus Mg. Substitute mg sine theta to fg, then max is equal to mg sine theta. The m is cancelled, so the acceleration in the x direction is equal to ax is equal to g sine theta. With that, we can solve for the acceleration in the x direction, and this is equal to ax is equal to 9.8 sine 40 degrees which is equal to 6.3 meter per square second. Now let's draw another triangle. We need to solve for x because it is the distance that the block traveled. Using trigo trigonometry, x is equal to 1.866 meters. Now we have this kinematic formula, x is equal to BOT plus 1 half AX T square. To solve for T, we get T is equal to 0 0.77 seconds. Now to solve for the final speed of the block before it hits the ground, we have another kinematic kinematics formula which is Bf is equal to initial velocity plus AT. Substitute the known values of acceleration and time. We get final velocity is equal to 4.85 meter per second. That is the end of this lecture. Thank you.